Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can set up a signature in Outlook on both the desktop and on the web. And before we jump into it, as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Well, why don't we jump into it? That way you can start looking very professional with nice signatures in your emails. Let's jump into it. All right, well here I am on my desktop and what we're gonna do first is I wanna show you how to do it using Outlook Desktop. Uh, I have Outlook here on my taskbar. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. This is the latest version of Outlook. It's uh, part of Office 365. Uh, it'll probably work if you have an older version of Outlook as well, but I can't promise anything, but signatures haven't changed that much. It's been a feature in Outlook for a very long time. So if you follow along, it should work for you, uh, regardless of what version you have. So here I am in Outlook. How do you update your signature? Well, the one way you could do it is you could go through the file menu. So I could click on file here. You go to options and then under options, you click on mail and then there's something called signatures within the mail view. And so I could click on that and then I'll bring you to the signature view. Now that's a lot of different clicks that you have to do through the interface to get there. A much easier way to get to signatures and one way I like navigating the different settings menus is to use the, the search uh, feature right up here. So tell me what you wanna do. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna set a signature. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just type in signature if I could spell it correctly. And then here the top one is signature and I can click on this and click on signatures and that also pops it up. So an easier way to get to signatures. So here I am in the signature view. It looks very lonely. There's not much in here. So I need to create a signature. Um, what you'll see is you could set up multiple signatures. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. Now what I could do is, uh, so I'm gonna click on new and then I'm gonna type in Kevin YouTube. That's gonna be the signature that I use here and I'm gonna click OK. And now what I could do is I could choose the email account that I want the signature to be associated with. So I'm gonna have it go with my live email account, so kevin.stratford at live.com. Uh, and then I, I have two options. I could send, I could include the signature on new messages. Uh, so that's kind of nice. The first time I reach out to someone, it'll include my signature. So I'll get, go ahead and uh, select uh, the signature. And then also on replies and forwards, I could decide whether I wanna use the signature or not, or maybe I use a different signature on replies, maybe you know a slimmed down version so it's not this massive signature um, on replies. But in this case, I'm just gonna choose none because in the first message it'll include it um, and I don't need to include the signature again. Okay, and then, so once I've kind of uh, set a new signature, I've decided what email account it's associated with, uh, now what I wanna do is actually create the signature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in my name here, Kevin Stratford. Uh, and then what we're gonna say is, uh, so I work at Microsoft, so I'm gonna put down my title at Microsoft, so Senior uh, Program Manager. What does senior mean? Well, probably means I somewhat know what I do at work. Uh, so I'm gonna put that down. Um, and then uh, let's see, maybe ahead of that, I'll say Microsoft Senior Program Manager, and then I'll put a phone number down. So if any of you wanna call me, you could just dial this number that I'm putting down. Um, it's not actually my real number, but uh, just putting down a phone number there. Uh, and then I'll just put down this email address there. And to make it look really professional, I should probably put a logo in here. And what's cool is you can put a logo in. So here, you know, you have your standard editing uh, options. And one of them is uh, insert a photo. So I'm gonna click on that icon. Um, conveniently, I have a logo sitting on my desktop. Uh, so I'm gonna click on that. And there I have my logo inserted into the message. Uh, and some of the things that I could do, so I could change the, let's say I wanna change the font. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select all this. And I really like the font, so go UI semi-light. So I'm gonna set that. Um, and then I could also, you know, make it bold. Maybe I make my name bold just to make it, uh, this way I can make my name stand out a little more. Um, I could also insert a link. So many different things you could do in terms of formatting. Um, so have fun with it, but that's how you get to uh, signatures. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And now if I click on a new email message, I'm gonna click on new email, you'll notice that my signature's there right as part of the email message. So that's how easy it is to set up a signature in Outlook Desktop. Now what we're gonna do is let's jump to the web and I'm gonna show you how to set up your signature uh, using Outlook uh, for the web or Outlook on the web. Uh, so I have this browser window open and here I am on office.com. This is where I could go to see all my different Office apps. Uh, and so I have Outlook, I already have a tab open for that. Uh, so I'm in my main Outlook view. And what I'm gonna do is uh, click on settings. And you'll see here I have a bunch of the most popular settings right here, but I don't see signatures. Uh, I could, similar to the desktop, I could click down here, view all Outlook settings, and I can navigate my way to signatures. But we found from the previous example that it's a lot easier just to search for settings. 
Uh, so here too, I'm gonna use this search outlook settings and I'm gonna type in signature. Hopefully this time I spell it correctly, I did. Uh, and then the first option here is email signature. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and that brings me immediately to the screen where I could set my email signature. Uh, and here too, I could type in Kevin Stratford and then I'll type in senior uh, program manager. And here too, I also have the option of just including the signature on new messages or I could also include it on uh, forwards or replies. Uh, so I have both of those options. Uh, I'm gonna do new messages for now, so let's save that. Okay, that's been saved. And now if I click on new message, you'll see that my signature is included as part of the new message. Uh, so as you can see, it's really easy to set up a signature. And once you have a signature in your email messages, it really makes you look more professional having this name and title and logo show up. Uh, but you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, hopefully this uh, helps you uh, get down the path of creating awesome signatures for your email messages. And that's all it was. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more tutorial videos like this, hit that subscribe button and that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. All right, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.